stage where he had to deal with both of them. Religion will cause a severance between a generation while they're dealing with their issues and not understand the kingdom while another generation that's growing up is dying. Right. Wow. Jesus. Wow. Wow. Generational things. Generational influences. That's the type of person Jesus was. Walked away from the Lord. And because of that, God has highly exalted him. Prophet Bean, you said something, one of the scriptures that I, I, I love so much about it, let this mind which is in Christ also be. But when you look up the word mind in the Greek, one of the, one of the meanings of that is kidney. Is that right? Wow. And a kidney, for anyone that, has a, that knows about the body, the kidney works as a filtering system. Right. And this mind that we have, once we come to the understanding of our place in the kingdom, mm -hmm. the things of the world will come. Mm -hmm. But it's up to us as to what our life is going to become simply by what we retain and what we let pass by. Right. Yeah. Right. We, 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 can, we can be as powerful as anything we put our mind to that we want to retain. But if we hold on to everything, our mind stays confused and you gain wow. nothing wow. simply because you've never passed anything. Wow. 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 That's good. Wow. That's good. That's good. Wow. Kidney. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's why people have to go get kidney transplants right. today. Mm -hmm. Because their kidney never let anything pass. It holds on to everything and it doesn't yeah. 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 So we Talk have to have the mind of Christ. Christ, Christ got he, 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 they were bought, he bought all other types of problems to Christ. Some things Christ accepted, spoke to it, and, and, and did away with it. Some things he never even acknowledged, he let it pass by. Right. Right. And we got to get to that point. Right. Right. Focus. You know, I used to work in a dialysis center. I was a, I was a tech. I, I repaired the dialysis machines. I, I know about that artificial kingdom. Now watch this. I could always tell, I was the guy now when they finished their treatment, they handed the artificial kidney to me. I hooked it up to a machine and processed it so they could use it again. They don't reuse them anymore, they throw them away now. Right. But back in those days, they reused them. Now watch this, I could always tell what type of diet a person had by looking at the kidney. The person who had a bad diet, who was taking in any and everything, the kidney would be all clogged up. Jeez. It was supposed to be able to pass nine passes, meaning that I'm supposed to be able to use this kidney nine times before I trash it. Mm -hmm. And the people that were taking in everything, letting nothing pass away, it wouldn't even pass the first time. Oh, I could look at it and tell. It would be all kind of junk. I could see the fat. It's a nasty sight. Mm -hmm. But that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Not letting things trying to process everything mm -hmm. and not focus on anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, just to give an example, it, it's okay to go to the doctor and the doctor tell you that you have cancer. That's okay. Because the word of God says, by his stripes, you are healed. So because you got the report, I let it go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stand on the word of God and it's not going to worry me. It's not going to keep me bound and it's not going to slow me down. Mm -hmm. But you can take that, you can do the flip side of that because he gave you the report. You hopped on that and the devil said, okay, you're going to believe it. I'm going to manifest it. Yeah. 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 My sister right here, you you the generational thinker. That whole story that you shared is about being a generational influencer. What you are in the earth to do is purpose to be to influence generations beyond you. There is a house, there is a home. It's not your home. It's not the place you live. But there is a place in the plan of God, in your blueprint, where you are house. That's general. I'm thinking beyond me. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just not looking at here. My family. Beyond me, there's in your blueprint. There's a plane. That's the plane that you would be the progenitor of a housing place. A place where where people could. I don't know. I'm not even going to limit it by putting my language in. I'm just going to say that. 
That's your blueprint. That's in you. That's why you have a that's why you are motivated, you have a passion for that sort of thing. It goes beyond what you're able to do in your house. Look beyond that. The plan is much greater and larger than that. So don't limit yourself to that.
Holy Spirit said to me uh, some t- short while ago, he said, prove that you can follow me yeah. and stay submitted to me around people of influence. Right. Prove that you can stay submitted mm. around people of influence. So that's people that have had that have had a, 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 a major voice and influence in and over your life. Holy Spirit will tell you, let me see now that you can submit to me when it comes to what this person has to say. Yes, sir. 